What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up a book light only using one C stand. Now, I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, there has been a couple of videos on YouTube showing you how to set up a book light only using one C stand, but today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do it easier and even faster. So really quick, for some of you who don't know what a book light is, it's basically a way to create soft, indirect lighting that gives you a natural, flattering, and diffuse light on a subject. A lot of Hollywood cinematographers tend to use this technique to achieve that really natural look. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys the difference between using a book light and using something like I have over here, which is a softbox. So right off rip, I'm going to show you guys my secret weapon here that is an extremely unique C-stand from a company called Savage. And don't worry guys, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check all of this equipment out. The reason why this C-stand is so unique is because it comes with a turtle base kit that allows you to add either an additional C-stand or in this case, a light to the base of the C-stand. So let me show you guys how this works. You have this piece right here that attaches to this leg of the C-stand. Okay, so now that we have this locked in, we're able to attach our light source right here, and we don't have to worry about, like I said, putting on any kind of clamps or any kind of special equipment to set our light up on the C-stand. It's pretty much already done for you. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add my bounce to the C-stand, and for my bounce, I'm using just unbleached muslin. The next thing that we're gonna do is take this clamp and attach our bounce to the C-stand. And we're gonna do that by just putting the stem of the floppy into this clamp. Okay, so now that we have this attached to our C-stand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna angle this down a little bit because the goal is to shoot the light up into the, the muslin and then have it reflect back through a grid cloth. Okay, so that's more like the angle that you wanna have. So that way the light, when it shoots up, it can kind of shoot into this whole region and bounce right back into the grid. Okay, so now to hold up the grid cloth, we're gonna attach these bars to the top of your bounce, and that's basically what's going to attach the grid cloth and your bounce to create that book light. And now that I have this together, all I have to do is put this on top and attach this with some clamps. Okay, now we have our six by six grid cloth, and this is what we're bouncing the light through to create that really soft, big, natural source. It comes with these little straps on the corners, so a good thing that I like to do is I like to just use these straps to start with to make it really easy. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to attach it back here. The goal is to take these clamps and then use these clamps to hold this whole thing down. And I wanna make it as tight as possible. I wanna make it look as clean and professional as possible. Okay, now that we have everything set up, we have the grid cloth set up, we have our bounce set up, we got the C-stand set up. Again, this is all one C-stand. Now we're ready to put on our light. And the light that we're gonna be using today is GVM 650B. Okay, now for the moment of truth, we're gonna turn this bad boy on and see how this thing looks. Boom, there you go. Now, let's check it out over here. Most of the light source is coming from the middle, as you can see right here. Typically what I would do with a book light if I had more time is try to get this entire thing filled up with a nice source of light. It's a little bit hot in the middle, which I don't love, but at the same time, if you're in a pinch and you wanna set up a really soft, big source of light that looks really natural, this is a great way to do it. I'm now gonna show you guys the difference between using a book light and a soft box, and you guys can be the judge which one you like more. And this is what it looks like with the book light turned on. As you guys can see, the, the shadow roll off is pretty nice, and it looks pretty natural on my face. Now let's get the aperture light dome in here and let's see what it looks like with just shooting through a diffuser. Now this is what it looks like with the light dome turned on. Now, you guys can take a look at the footage and judge for yourself which one you guys like more. You guys drop some comments down below and let me know. To me, it, it looks pretty good and I think that the difference is kind of subtle. I don't think that it's a huge difference between the book light and the diffuser. But if I had to choose one and I had the time to set up a book light, I would much rather set up a book light. To me, it just looks a little bit more flattering. It looks a little bit more natural. But again, the diffuser works fine. I think the diffuser is good and I think that having a big dome like this is definitely helpful, especially when you're in a pinch and you don't have time to set up something like a book light. But if you do and you're able to do this setup with just one C-stand, I personally think it's one of the best things that you can do.